All right, hello everybody and welcome back to more Earthbound. Last time we crossed the desert and made our way over to the wonderful town of Foreside. Uh, before we get into that, uh, there's some stuff I forgot to handle in the desert. Uh, so we're gonna first take out this lady and then take care of that. The extra cranky lady. New encounter. Luckily, these encounters generally aren't too difficult, so we'll hopefully be able to get through it. Oh, my guts went down by four. A little bit spooky. Hey, turn back to normal. Alright. Anyway, uh, I have to head to the desert, so I'll see you all in a bit. All right, here's an encounter that we didn't have last time, the bad buffalo. This guy is a little bit scary to say the least, uh, but uh, as long as we can take him out quickly, we should be fine. But uh, I also want to make sure that we don't get ruined by the desert wolf, so. Hope our tech will be able to take care of it. Oh no. Oh, 128 damage. Oh, that's scary. That is really scary. Oh. Yeah, we don't want to deal with that in the future. And hey, Jeff's level, now level 29. Offense up by one, speed up by one, guts up by one, maximum HP out by one. Alright. So what we're looking for, specifically, is a sign. Hey, free stuff. Sudden guts pill. Uh, what we're looking for is a sign that talks about a missing contact lens. Uh, another present, PSI caramel. Excellent. Really should use a life up. In fact... This is like a beta. And, uh, never mind. No longer reasonable. Even though I'm just a pile of bones, I can talk and I'm lonely out here in the desert. Huh. Didn't know that bones could talk. Butterflies just flying away. Lost a pair of contact this out or contact lenses here in the dusty dunes desert. They were a memento for my grandma and very important to me. If you find them, bring them to me and I'll give you a reward. I'm Polita Giovanni. Find me in the Forside Bakery, second floor. Well, here's hoping we can find it. Spotted something shiny. It was a set of contact lenses. You have no more room. Okie dokes. Gotta fix that. Um. Bag of fries, I guess. And set of contact lenses. And Paula got the contact lenses. All right. So now that we've done that and kind of cleared out a little bit more of uh, this area, why don't we uh, head back? So we'll see you all in a bit. All right, we are back in Foresight. The city of Foresight has developed quite a bit since Mr. Keldar Monotali hit the big time. It's been a good for the city. Huh. Good name. Run away five from Tucson seemed very popular. I heard that the Topella Theater is always full. Oh, so this is a theater. So I think we're going to have to watch a show. Is there a store? There's a department store. That seems interesting. 
Speaking of the Topolithea, there's a new theater singer called Venus. She's better than the run of like five. I'm totally bonkers about her. I don't know why I'm going with like, kind of like a kind of like a little bit more of a formal voice. What? Temporarily closed. Grr. I wonder why the department store is closed. When Montoli became the owner, this department store began having strange happenings. Hmm. Well. Seems like there's a lot going on. Oh, hey, there's the bakery. So the contact lenses are for somebody on the second floor of the bakery. Uh, I didn't realize it was uh, Mr. T. I was thinking there was a tight wide born every minute. Oh, well, uh, Mr. T, uh, I uh, have your contact lenses. What? You came to deliver my grandmother's memento? The contact lenses? Thank you. Thank you so much. It's our family tradition to keep things forever. Okay, I'll give you something as a reward. Here's my socks that I use only for special occasions. I've worn these socks for just five years. There's no holes and they've only been worn once since last washing. They stink a little, but they're still good. Hey, don't refuse me here, I'm being generous. I just noticed that it has valuable in quotes. Please take good care of my socks. Sniff. Oh god. What in god's name? <laughs> this game is quirky. Okay, so the pair of dirty socks isn't as useless as like that postcard that we got, um, as the pair of dirty socks will automatically solidify an opponent. So if you want a quick way of solidifying, pair of dirty socks. Protect Mr. Montoli first. Safety of the citizens of the city come next. Second. <laughs> yeah, that's a job, you know. <laughs> huh. Crooked cops again. That's weird. And then you have Monotoli Towers. That's some weird placement for a street sign. All right, we have the crazed sign. <laughs> Just a sign. Ohio 40. Ohio. Oh God, I love that meme. It's like an old thing. I've had that picture on my phone for like ages. Not work on this. That's good. Ah, uh, memes. Hey, level 32. Offense up by two, speed up by one, guts up by two. Oh, baby, IQ one up by three, luck up by one, maximum HP up by two, and that rocks. Psychic points up by 10. Ah, uh, yes. And we have another crazy dude right here. And it's the annoying reveler. Interesting. So as you can see, these are reskins of enemies that we encountered back in Tucson. Uh, which, I don't know, it's kind of cool. I'm gonna heal up Paula. And I really should just use the uh, psychic points, but I'm cheap about that. But yeah. Let's uh... Heal up. Nice little top off. Oh, hey kid. I'm very punctual about time and careful with money. I don't look like it though. I don't know. A lot of rich people dress homeless or not homeless per se, but just like, you know, they don't dress within their wealth. So, I don't know. Don't sell yourself short. That wasn't an enemy, the guy with the drink. Hey, Paul's level 30. Offense up by two, luck up by one, maximum HP up by one, and maximum psychic points up by two. Good to see. No one, no, 
know anything. Er, Monotoli's totally stole everything from me, including my house and land. Weep, weep. They're evil incarnate. Lawyers, policemen, everyone that follows Monotoli. They're all his toadies. No matter how you fight him, you can't win. Yeah, yeah, I'm okay. I'm just... Leave me here to cry in my cappuccino. Nosy. It's not a cappuccino, but I'm not going to tell him otherwise. Hey, cafe. Seems like it's just for decoration. I'm surprised you talked to an ordinary guy like me. I have no information or items to help you out. Don't you think it's natural for a guy like me to be here? I enjoy the atmosphere here. By the way, let me quiz you. There are five apples. If you eat one, how many are left? Five minus one is four, so four is left. Ah, it's not funny? Okay, here's another one. Master Pokey's made Electra is made to order. Oh, puns aren't funny either. Master Porky? Oh no. I was in the middle of a caffeine buzz and I had to get to the bathroom fast. When I got there, I accidentally knocked on the wall instead of the restroom door. Next thing I knew, someone asked who was it and really surprised me. Maybe I just imagined it. I used to be Monotoli's employer. Then I realized the schemes made my company go bankrupt. My house and land were taken away. Now I'm homeless. Monotoli didn't used to be so powerful. I want to find out his secrets, so I'm spending my time here. Watching to see if he ever drops in. What? Does Mr. Gianoli Monotoli come here often? Hello, time to get up. It can never happen. Well, actually, that's not true. Kids shouldn't be drinking espresso. You shouldn't be hanging around here. What? Mr. Monotoli's here? You got that wrong, kid. Huh. Weird. That cafe's weird. Alright, well, hey, we have friends here at the Runaway Five. If I could actually find uh, where the theater is. Which I think it's just down this way. Ooh, and we also have a museum to explore, but let's let's check in on our friends. Ooh, we don't have the backstage pass at the moment, so we might have to buy a ticket. Yeah, 30 bucks please. Excuse me, sir, but your hands are full. Shoot. Um, <laughs> you know, I think now would be a, probably a good time to call uh, good old sis and see if uh, we can drop off some stuff. So we'll do that and be right back. Making my way downtown, walking fast. Oh, hi. <laughs> you just came out of nowhere. All right. So we'll... Uh, We'll drop off this uh, cup of life noodles. Let's hope we can find something else. Uh, we'll store this magic truffle as well. And... As I mentioned earlier, I don't think I'll have any use for the sudden guts pill. So we'll just uh, store all those. All right, sweet. We have some inventory now, folks. Too bad we can't upgrade our gear at the moment, but, you know. Buy a ticket, 30 bucks. Thanks a lot. 10 bucks, bro. Please have your tickets ready. Why? Yeah. Thanks a lot. Please hurry. The show will be starting any moment. Alright. Is this the manager office again? Secretary desk. Huh, so you're a Runaway fan. Runaway 5 fan, huh? What? Excuse me. No, no. This band owns me a million dollars, million bucks. If they break the contract, they'll be in deep doo-doo with the police. The police would probably say, hey, you guys, or something like that. Unless you're able to pay a million dollars on their behalf. You'd have to find buried gold. We would never be able to pay such a huge sum of money. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, ho, 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 Huh, well, it seems like they're in debt again. Gotta always read those contracts. But, let's, uh, I have no idea where our seats are, but. When Ness arrived, so Runway 5 told me to let him in. So please, come in. 
Oh, hey. We owe you guys so much. Sorry. To meet Grandma Dad, or Geldegod Monotoli, you'll need our help. I don't know exactly why, but it's just a hunch. We know how to sing, but we don't know how to handle money or woman. Do wop. Do do wop. Again, we have been cheated by the theater owner. We're stuck here with the phony contract. Oh, yeah. So I guess that was the theater owner. Apologies. We are so helpless. Really helpless and hopeless. Yuck, yuck, yuck. Alright, well, showtime it is. Tonight I have got a bombshell for... Or, er, yeah. Have I got a bombshell for you tonight, kids? Oh, kaboom, the runway five. Yeah. Three, two, one, go. But it's six people. Woo. <laughs> also, his suit's black. <laughs> I think that's a sprite mix up. Oh my god, that's funny. Because it's supposed to be green. <laughs> Once again, what an incredible performance by the Runaway Five. Glad to see them still killing it. And let's just once again talk with the lady. But I think, I think we might have something here. Yeah. But, uh, that, uh,. Very gold comment. I'm thinking that will. I think that will. Uh, I think that will work out in our favor. <laughs> All right. Oh hi. All right. Let's make our way out. All right. Well, we've been hearing a lot about Monotoli, so let's go to his tower. Should be right here. Monotoli Tower. Tower. Ooh. Last night there was a solitaire tournament. I lost my shirt. I'll invite you next time. Hey, wait, do you even know what solitaire is? How can there be a solitaire tournament? Tournament. But I love solitaire, so hit me up with it. Hello, baby face. What brings you to the Monotoli building? I'm an elite businessman who works in Mr. Monotoli's office. Okay, well. I take elevators. This elevator is only for Master Porky's, Porky's use. It goes directly to the 47th floor. Quit staring at my hips. Why don't you stand somewhere else instead of behind me? Are you friends with Master Pokey? It's okay to visit him here, but don't wander around the building. Someone might be suspicious of you and take a pot shot at you with a machine gun. Whoops, I was almost going to beat you up. Master Pokey? I mean, he came from a rich family, but... Oh, you got to be kidding with me. The gold's gaudy, dude. Get away from me, kid. Won't get away from me, kid. Oh, la, la, la. 
This, this is my poor old friend. Oh, what is your name? Pig butt. No, no, it's Ness. Did you, didn't you come here to beg me for some money? Oh la la. Don't you recognize me? I'm Master Pokey. Pokey. Get it? I'm now Gatelgard Monotoli's uh, partner. And I gave him political and economic advice. I heard that there were some ratty looking kids looking for Mr. Monotoli. Is that you, Ness? This isn't the place for the likes of you. Get out of here now, loser. Okay, well. Escorted out of the building. You must never show your face around Master Pokey. You got that? Alright. Well, let's still explore the building. Oh. Pokey's dad. You haven't changed much, Ness. I'm Eloise Minch, Pokey's dad. Due to my son's success, I now live the life of a rich man. Every dog has its days. That's the perfect proverb to describe me. Ha 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 Oh my jaw's tired. Hmm. So it seems like the minches are living it up. Huh. Well. Weird. Well, I guess... Private elevator. Not for operation by the general public. Monotoly building manager. Well, it seems like there's not too much left to do. Um... Look, don't stand behind me and stare at my hips. Well, I guess what's next is to take a look at the... Go back out to that desert and see if we could go back to that gold mine, you know? Might be able to strike it rich. Maybe he actually did some good mining. And it's still closed. Also, if memory serves me right, this guy right here. I don't get it. I heard that the guy looks like Monotoli has been chaining out of Jackie's cafe. You know, the totally unpopular place I really quite quietly goes in and out. No, wrong in person. There's a person around here somewhere that can sell you some stuff, but um, it's recommended not to get it quite yet, so we'll worry about it later. Alright, so if memory serves me right, the guy will be. or the farmer, or not the farmer, the miner. Oh my goodness. He dug out a lot. I didn't have a problem digging until I... This. I found a maze. Lots of monsters appeared, so I couldn't proceed. There's five big moles. If I beat the monsters, I can continue on. I think I have a bleeding ulcer from worrying too much. I'm hope helpless and to really do anything. Okay. So it seems like there's a couple moles that need to be taken care of. Well, let's explore. <laughs> and we have the thirsty coil snake. Ugh. Ooh, poison fangs. Luckily, we should be able to handle that with a uh, with a healing, but this is gonna be tricky now. Okay. All right. Thank God the poison disappears. Oh no. Multi-level dungeon. Oh my God. Well, um, that's a noose. Okay. That's, uh, wasn't expecting one of those. Uh, now the Mad Duck's the same as it was previously, so hopefully we'll be able to deal with all these. Ooh. And Tech Beta should clear them all out. 
Wow, did not work on the mad duck. What a mad lad. Whew. Okay. So we'll probably be seeing more of those. Whoa, ho, 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 ho. That's like a Mondo Mole, but, but it's weird. Okay. I am the one of the masters of this hole. There are five masters in all. We are all moles, of course. I believe I'm the third strongest among us. us. Take your best shot. Number three. Interesting. Oh, let's uh, do a nice little PSI freeze and uh, bottle rocket. These guys are relative pushovers, so. Power shield. Interesting. Ooh, 101 damage to Paula. But it seems like uh, PSI Freeze will be the thing to do. Let's just have uh, Ness do uh, recover on Paula. Uh, and then I think an Alpha should be fine. To finish this off. Man, that power shield throws me off. Oh no, it was not enough. Whew. 93 damage. Yeah, so beta is definitely gonna be the call then. Okay. Uh, does Jeff have any healing stuff? He has a PSI caramel. Well, that's less than optimal. Screw it. HP sucker. And Guardian Digger has became has become tame. Okay. Five thousand experience is pretty good. An IQ capsule inside. Oh my goodness, I know who that's going to. We just have to, you know, make room. Paula. can actually toss that bomb over to Jeff as well. Later, obviously. Oh, I didn't realize uh, that I could just select. I didn't have to pass it around. Good note for the future. I seem to have made that mistake a plethora of times already. Also, I wish I had a healing Omega or something like that where it would hit everybody, but. All right. I have no idea if I was still in the middle of a sentence after that fight, but whatever. All right. And okay, so we have one loop of this finished. And uh, I think we are going to just end it off here. Um, I don't know how long we've been going, but hopefully long enough. I wanna thank you guys for watching. If you guys did, please hit that subscribe button down below and also make sure to check me out on Twitter and Twitch, also linked down below. Um, yeah, this has been fun and uh, hopefully we'll be able to explore even further next time. Thank you all for watching and have a good rest of your day. Bye.